Hello, I'm Andrew Downey. This is a fairly rough and ready introduction to Audacity. I have not scripted terribly well, so apologies if there are a few lumps and bumps on the way through. When I record this, you'll from time to time be hearing the screen reader as well to supplement my rather nasally Australian accent. I will be using a nicer sounding Australian accent from one of the a cappella voices. So let's get started. When we first open Audacity, we are in the track view. If I push Control F6, Project rate right left parent, Hertz right parent, colon, combo box collapsed. Edit. Selected 44,100. So we now are on the lower part of the screen and we are on the selection toolbar. Uh, there are some nice features here. You heard then it told me what rate I was recording at. Uh, that can be changed, but we won't bother with that at the moment. I'm going to tab. Snap to combo box off collapsed. Don't bother too much about snapping for screen reader use because the clips are not accessible, so there's not much point worrying about them. But the next one is quite important. Selection start colon 00H00M00.000S. Now that's quite a lot to take in in one mouthful. But what it's telling me is that we are at the start of the file because I haven't recorded anything. Zero, zero hours. Zero, zero H comma, zero, zero M comma, zero. And we go across to the minutes. Zero. And there are two zeros for the minutes. Zero, zero S comma, zero. Now we're on the seconds. There are two zeros for the seconds. Zero. And I'm arrowing to the right each time. Zero, zero, zero milliseconds comma, zero. I've set Audacity to report to the nearest millisecond, so it reported uh, three zeros for the milliseconds. We can adjust by using up and down arrows if we go back to the hours. Zero, zero, each comma. And if I wanted to go to one hour, I would arrow once to the right. Zero. And then arrow up. Zero, one. Zero, two. Zero, three. Zero, two. Zero, one. Zero, zero. Now zero, all, zero. Enough of you. It's all a bit pointless because there's nothing there, but uh, Regardless of whether there is something there or not, you can select the time that you want to start at. If I tab once more... Selection end 03H00M00.000S. So you notice it went to three hours at the end because I had already selected that in the previous dialog. You notice it said selection end. I'll come back to that in a moment. Audio position colon 00H00M00.000S. Now that's the audio position that really only becomes relevant when you are playing or recording. And if you tab to this position, or if you have one of the scripts that people write for screen readers, you might be able to read it without getting here. But that will tell you how far through you are. Now there's a couple of radio buttons. End radio button checked. That said end radio button checked. Length radio button checked. And that said length. End radio button checked. I'll put it back to end because that's where I normally leave it. What that's telling you, if you have it set to end, it shows you when we come back to our end dialog. Audio position colon. Zero selection end zero three eight. So selection end. That would show you how far through the recording are. If you set it to length, it gives you the length of what you've highlighted. And this will all make a bit more sense once we start doing a little bit of recording. So that's the toolbar for adjusting where you are on the file. Just one more thing about that, which I should have mentioned. If I hit the application key on any of these dialogues and use up and down arrow. Context menu. Seconds S. HH colon millimeters colon SSH. DD colon HH colon millimeters colon SSD. HH colon millimeters colon SS plus hundredths H. HH colon millimeters colon SS plus milliseconds checked H. So that's where I've got it set to. So you can set it to a whole lot of different values. Whichever one you find most useful, because I'm a pedant, I set it to the milliseconds. I'll escape out of that without, Intro dash. without changing anything. If I push Control F6 again. Record meter peak minus 9 dB drop down button. I go up to 
another area at the top of the screen and you heard that it dropped beyond to the recording level meter which was running at minus 9 dB which is quite satisfactory as a by the way that's not where it would normally land it went there because I'd been up there prior to making this recording to check my levels there are lots of things here most of which you won't use because they are fairly mouse oriented but let me just tab through them. Play meter pick minus 19 dB drop down button. Slider recording slider 78. So that's the volume for recording. I'm just tabbing. Slider playback slider 100. Undo button. Sync dash lock tracks button. Fit selection in window button. Playback speed slider 100. Audio host combo box windows direct sound collapsed. I've set that to windows direct sound at the moment could use Wasapi but I'm using Windows Direct Sound. Recording device combo box microphone left parent USB audio codec right parent collapsed. And the USB codec that he talked about then is my uh, mixer which I'm recording through. Recording channels combo box to left parent stereo right parent recording channels collapsed. Playback device combo box speakers left parent USB audio codec right parent. Okay. Pause button. Skip to start button. Now the rest of them I won't go through because they are, as I mentioned, fairly mouse oriented. So let's do some recording. I push Control F6 again. Track view table. And I'm back onto the track table. You can, by the way, press Control Shift F6. Skip to start button. And that takes me back up to that top area again. So you can go either way around the circle. Track view table. Now I'll do some recording. To start recording, I press R. Track one row not selected. Mary had a little lamb. Its foot was, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. And I press the space bar to stop. We'll play that back. Track one row not selected. Mary had a little lamb. Its foot was its fleece was white as snow and everywhere that met okay the first thing we have to do is to make sure that we have selected the track selected and track now, one select on row thank you and now we can do some editing one of the things that i'm fairly cautious about with audacity is the whole highlighting issue it's fairly easy to inadvertently have material selected when you don't want to and that can lead to tears so the first thing i do is to press k that takes me to the end of the track then i press j and that takes me to the beginning of the track and we just make sure doing that that there is nothing selected i'm now going to remove that part at the start where the screen reader spoke it only came through because i had it set there so you could hear it but let's get rid of it now. I'm going to play and then when the screen reader finishes, I'm going to hit the left bracket. That's the one to the right of the P. Track one row not selected. Mary had a little lamb. So he kept playing, but I've now marked the spot just before I start talking. I've moved the, the cursor to that position. Mary had a... I might just bring it a bit further forward. Mary... Mary, Mary, and what I was doing was using the space bar and then quickly hitting the left bracket key just to juggle it forward a little bit. Now I'm going to delete that section at the beginning of the track. I have to highlight it. To do that I press Shift J and Shift J selects from wherever you are on the track to the beginning of the track. Shift K does the same thing but to the end of the track. I now hit the delete key and when I play from the beginning of the track now, Mary had a little lamb. There it is. Now we're going to remove that mistake that I deliberately put in. To do that, I'll do the same thing. I'll start playing. Mary had a little lamb. Its foot was... So I've hit the left bracket. Its foot was... So it's moved the cursor to the right position. But we now have to mark the end of that section. And I do it with the right bracket. Its foot was... Its fleece was... I've now highlighted the section. To play it back, I press the space bar. 
its foot was. So that's my highlighted section. I could just delete it at that point, but I'll show you some things first. If I press C, for cut I presume, uh, Audacity will play it as if I've already hit the delete key. Mary had a little lamb. It's fleece. So that sounded quite nice, quite a nice cut. But if I wasn't happy with that, I could use my left and right bracket keys again. When we are stopped, they behave differently to when we're playing. So I'll hit the left bracket. Position 00H00M02.430S. So it told me I'm at 2.043, or was it 403 seconds? If I hit the end key. 430 milliseconds, comma, zero. 430, right. If I arrow once to the left. Three. One more. Four. And I could adjust that in either direction. 530, 630, 630, 730, 730. And if I go one to the right. Three. 740, 740, 730. Zero. One to the right. 731, 732, so you 730. You'd be quiet. You can make very fine adjustments to both ends of your highlight by doing it this way. There are other techniques you can move with arrow keys and such. I find this the most accurate, but it can also be the most tedious. I hit enter. Intro dash audacity. Track view table. Let's see how our highlight sounds now. We had a little lamb. It's it's fleece. So you'll notice we had a little. I've moved it too far to the right, so I'll have to correct that. Position 00H00M 733, 7, 6, 432, 3, 2, 430. I'll put it back to where it was. Track view. Its foot was. Its foot was. That's better. I'll show you some other commands that I find very useful. Shift F5 plays up to the beginning of the highlight. This takes some getting your head around. Mary had a little lamb. Shift F6 plays from the beginning of the highlight. Its foot was... Shift F7 plays up to the end of the highlight, which in this case will be the same because it's so short. Its foot was... And Shift F8 plays after the highlight. Its fleece... All of those commands are useful when you are trying to get a very tight edit. I've left myself a nice bit of space here, but you don't always get that luxury. So I'm now going to press delete. If I play from the beginning of the track, Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. There we go. Earlier I showed you the selection toolbar that is the one that we reached by pressing Control F6 from the Tracks panel. I've used the left and right brackets in this example, but you could just as easily go down to that toolbar and adjust the numbers from there. Uh, it just depends which way you want to do it. Uh, if you work from that toolbar, it's quite nice because you can play and stop and you can make adjustments quite quickly to either the beginning or the end of the highlight and it works very nicely uh, but it just depends which way you want to do it. Before we finish I'll deal with amplification. We press J to make sure we're at the beginning of the track and then shift K to select the whole track. Alt C brings up the effects menu I press down arrow until I reach amplify and then press enter. Add slash remove plump dash repeat amplify amplify dot dot dot. Intro dash audacity unavailable. Amplification left parent DB right parent colon edit. Selected 11.907. So we got the value 11.907. What that's telling me is that the loudest part of that recording is at minus 11.907 dB. And if I hit enter on that, which I will do shortly, it would bring the loudest part, and note that, the loudest part of the recording up to zero.
Intro dash audacity. So now it'll be louder. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. I might not want to bring it up to zero. So if we go back into our add slash room repeat amplified amplify dot 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 intro dash audacity unavailable our amplification left parent db right parent colon edit selected zero point zero. Say I go to minus Select. fifteen intro dash. Mary had a little lamp. Now it's softer. And of course, if you just wanted to amplify one section of the track, you would do very much what I showed you earlier with your selecting the highlight and then adjusting that. And the same thing applies to when you're adding effects and so forth. I'll leave it there for now. And no doubt people will have lots of questions and we can pick that up on the list. Bye for now.